what most people are thinking about when they're developing their portfolio for their next career move is what do I need to share, what should I observe, and what should I feel about what I'm experiencing. What most people don't regard is where their boundaries begin and end in this world. We have a lot of people that are pretty uppity about their property, but it's amazing when it comes to someone else's property, they're okay with it being stolen, they're okay with it being ru ruined, they're okay with it being torn, they're okay with all of that scorn that they have for other people. I was walking down the street today with my rollator that's stacked high with, well, different things I need for my life in the daily living of being a traveling man, if you will, and I accidentally bumped into a vehicle. The woman got out of her car, was tall and black, and started pissing all over me for simply tapping her car. I left no damage, I left no mark, there was nothing that I did to harm her, but she was upset. Most people don't seem to mind. I've had that happen once or twice before, accidentally, honestly, and people are usually pretty loving and kind, because they look at themselves and go, I have a car, I have a home, and I'm in good shape. And this little fella is doing his best to keep going. I appreciate that about people but I really don't like the observations I make. I'm walking down the street past a strip mall, two managers of a clothing store that is predominantly servicing black demographics are outside cussing and swearing and carrying on. Then they sort of turn their sound as if it's towards another person and start going off after them. I don't know who they were talking to, but I just thought, wow, you're really not understanding that when you're inside your store and outside your store, you're representing your national corporation that probably has rules and regulations about harassment and hate. And my guess is you don't care because it's just an hourly gate for you. But for other people passing by, it's going to determine whether or not they want to go in and even try to find the best deals they could find on clothing that's pretty fly. You may be a store that serves predominantly a particular ethnic demographic, but the truth is in America we're not supposed to discriminate, we're not supposed to hate, we're not supposed to harass. But the more that you display of your crassness, the more that you prove who you are in your own integrity and in your own difficulty and in your own way of life. But more importantly, you're representing your community. So the question is, are you representing your community well or are you representing the community foolishness? And that's what I'm saying. If you're a fool, go be a fool elsewhere. But don't be a fool on your company's dime because that is a crime. You absolutely know what your hourly wage is supposed to be. You absolutely know what you're supposed to be doing in your job. You absolutely know what your performance expectations are, probably from your boss or for the president or for the man who owns the company. So let's get it together. Just because you're unattended by one of those people doesn't mean that there aren't secret shoppers throughout the community observing you, watching you, and being offended by you. You have to decide what sort of a community reputation you want to have. It's not so much about having an easy job where you have next to no one in the store, but if the company folds, if your store doesn't make it, what happens then to you and your ability to earn? It means you have to go set yourself out and hunt up another job, praying that they don't call your company who says, gosh, the store folded under their tutelage, under their leadership, under their management. You see, it's really important that you learn how to be a good player in every part of the community. A respectful regardful individual because as much as people mind your personality or don't mind your personality because they kind of expect it of you in terms of your community because that's what they experience on a regular basis as a cultural generalization wouldn't it be nice for people to go wow that's a really nice person and gosh I'd really like to spend a lot of money in that store